So true way, I'm going to give you the question. According to this hadith, as we see in the front of us, your prophet, he claimed that there is a bunch of groups of, of the Jews that disappear in the desert. And he is saying, using his uh, deep logic, that those Jews must be, or those rats, they are Jews. There is a group of Jews who they are missing. Nobody knows what happened to them. Let me read again. A group of Israelis were lost. Nobody knows what they did. But I do not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats. <sighs> Why? Let us see the reasoning together. Focus with me, please. For if you put the milk of a she camel in the front of a rat, it will not drink it. Okay. But if you put the milk of a sheep, they drink it. Wow. And that make them Jews. Why? Because Jews don't drink camel milk. You see the logic of the Prophet, peace upon him, brother? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah and the angels are praying on him. Look at this deep thinking. How he know, how he think that deep. But you know, according to this story, Mr. Truway, your prophet is telling us that those rats are Orthodox Jews because even when they are rats, still they are following the book. <laughs> those are very religious, Orthodox Jewish rats who they used to be Jewish human and now they are Jewish rats. So what do you say, Mr. Uh, uh, the true way about that. Your mic. Go ahead. <clears throat> you notice he put his hand down because he's ashamed, isn't he? He's afraid to talk about it because obviously this will make his prophet look like stupid. Correct? He was excited to talk, but he don't like the topic. No, this is not true. The prophet, he did not have sex with his aunt. You know, it's his aunt. She was dead. She is the one who have sex with him. You guys making things upside down. Simply, he didn't have sex. According to the story, his, his aunt, she, she, she died, and she is a kafir. She did not believe in him. She know he's a, he's a liar. So he decided to sleep with her in the grave. According to Muslims, he wanted to make the punishment of the grave on her not harsh. So if you want, if you have a wife and she is dead, and you want her to have less pressure in the grave, let the prophet go naked with her in the grave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, let us go back to the topic. The hadith in front of us stating very clear evidence of the logic of the prophet of the Abdul. Based on this, rats uh, why you are farting? Uh, Mr. Uh, seeker, why you are farting? Sorry, excuse me. By the way, according to the hadith, when a Muslim he hear the prayer for a call, shaitan fart. Are you the shaitan? Are you, are you the shaitan? Why are you are fighting your mind? Go ahead. He ran? Unbelievable. Anyway, we go back to the topic. So, according to this logic of Muhammad, if you don't eat something and there's an animal... It's okay, Abdul. It's okay. It's a fighting day in Islam. It was actually not today. It was a Friday. Anyway, uh, according to the logic of Muhammad, if you do not drink something and you share that with certain animals, it means you are those animals are from your kind. To make it simple, according to Muhammad, those rats are Jews 
because they didn't drink she camel milk okay I will use Muhammad logic with Muslims rats don't drink alcohol Muslims they claim they don't that's me rats are Muslims too pigs don't drink camel urine Muslims drink camel urine is that mean pigs and Muslims they are not from the one kind cockroaches they don't eat uh, let's say they don't drink uh, uh, alcohol Muslim don't drink alcohol does that mean cockroaches are Muslims what's what kind of a stupid logic that logic is you see how naive childish this man is this is the wise man you people you follow he come to a conclusion that rats are Jews because they don't drink the she camel milk really this is how stupid this religion is and this is the logic of the philosophy of Muhammad he is the best philosopher you see the philosophy here Muhammad he remind me of a, of a joke a story someone he uh, uh, he went to study logic philosophy so he's a Saudi he told the teacher what philosophy is about the teacher he said philosophy is about or logic is about uh, to to know something through something else the, the, the student he said I don't understand the teacher he said well as an example I will show you how do you have a chain in your house the student he said yes the teacher he said oh as long as you have a chain it's mean you have a dog the student he said yes he said as long as you have a chain and you have a dog it's mean you have a garden he said yes said, as long as you have a chain you have a dog you have a yard it's mean you have a nice house he said sure he said as long as you have a chain and a dog and a nice yard, nice house it's mean your your family are wealthy and your house is big he said yeah he said as long as you have a chain and a dog and a house etc and your house is big and your mother is taking care of it this is mean that she is a decent woman the Muslim now he learn he learned logic that from the chain we were able to know that his mother she is a decent woman you see the logic so he want to practice the logic he want to practice the philosophy as his prophet so he went out of the school and he met a man he asked him do you have a chain he said no he said okay your mother is a whore you see the stupid logic of Muslims because he learned from his teacher that if you have a chain in the house it's mean your mother she is a decent woman and she is a good woman she's taking care of a big house but if you don't have a chain your mother is a whore and this is exactly the logic of the Prophet of the Abdul if you drink camel urine you are a Muslim if you drink the she camel urine or she camel milk you are a Muslim but if you don't drink the she camel milk you are a Jew even though it is about rats he make the rats Jews based in his stupid disgusting funny argument I think we should uh, put Muhammad with Aflatone in the same book we read one statement of Aflatone philosophy and we read one statement of Muhammad philosophy and we you will see the difference and you will see how deep Muhammad is Aflatone will disappear in a second like come on this is the wise philosopher Muhammad any Muslim have a comment yeah Aflatone is a is a is a is a very very uh, by the way Aflatone was a Muslim new discovery Shakespeare was Muslim his name is Sheikh Isbir yeah everybody is a Muslim the rats are Jews yeah 
הם עבדו, 